Hello everyone. So when you write the automation script, sometime you will be encountered a situation where you need to deal with the mouse action. So in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can handle the mouse action from the Catalon Studio and following are the action which we are going to discuss. That is double click, drag and drop, focus, mouse hover, right click or the context click. So for this video series, I'm going to switch back between the manual mode and the script mode so that we can cover both the mode for all this mouse action. And also for this, I'm going to use this website, which is demos.telric.com. This website contains the UI element and you can also use this website for practicing the automation. So the first action which we are going to discuss is the double click. So for this, I'm going to take the help of a tree view component. So here, this is the root element. If I perform the double click, it is going to display the child element. So I'm going to automate this scenario in which there is an action called double click. So first of all, I need to identify this particular web element. So I will use my Firebug. So this is the X path for the element. So in my Catalan Studio, first I will add a folder called mouse action as well as I will add a folder under the object repository called Telerik web element inside this I will add a test object so this will be our root element and the locator for this one is xpath so currently because of the resolution problem, you are not able to see the third text box, but it is present there. So this is our X path. So once this is done under the mouse actions, I'm going to add a test case TC hyphen double click. So the initial step remains same first. I need to navigate to this location and wait for this element to be visible. So just copy this URL, add open browser, specify the application URL, wait for page to load. So this will be your global variable, timeout. After that, maximize the browser window and then wait for root element to visible. So wait for element visible. Root element. So the timeout will be global variable dot timeout. So once this is done, I need to perform the double click action. So again, I will open my keyword browser and here I will search for double click action. So there is a built in keyword present here that is double click. So here I will use double click and specify the web element that is our root element. Then I will introduce a delay of two seconds so you can see the script execution. And after that, close the browser. So let me just refresh this page once again. So we are going to do a double click on this element, which will list down the child element inside it. So I'm going to run this script inside the Chrome browser. So you can see here, it has performed the double click action and the script is done now similarly if i switch back to the script mode you can see this is the way you can call the method that is double click so the rest all other method are sim similar what we used in our previous video so the double click method will be like web ui dot double click and here you need to supply the web element on which you want to perform that action so in this manner you can handle the double click action that's all for this video and thanks for watching